hello all welcome to the channel this is d square and today i'm gonna show you how to make a fatigue simulation on solidworks and what is the use of the fatigue and uh, where i can apply the fatigue simulation so i am starting the tutorial so first uh, one is uh, what is the fatigue so fatigue is uh, whenever your uh, object is uh, failing due to any cyclic loading so that time you just need to check uh, your uh, fatigue so first uh, what is the cyclic loading so i am taking an example that is uh, hammering punching pressing these all are the cyclic loading example so if your object is uh, getting uh, any kind of this load so that time you just need to check uh, of your body so for that uh, first uh, you just uh, need to make a simulation that is static or dy dynamic it is up to you Here you can see I made the handle of the door so here I already made a static study that is here I applied material fixture and applied here load that is a 700 Newton and uh, I missed the end the result here and uh, my factor of safety is 1.7 now I just want to check my what is my fatigue value and uh, in a fatigue simulation you can find your product uh, life also so for fatigue simulation click here new study and here you can see the fatigue in fatigue uh, you have the four option the first one is uh, constant amplitude so in this option uh, your applying load uh, will be remain as a constant so i am taking this one so first step is uh, right click and add event in this step uh, you just write down the cycle so what is the cycle so i am going back in static simulation so here i applied 700 newton so this is my one cycle if uh, i applied uh, once more 700 newton so this is my second cycle if i applied once more 700 so this is my third cycle so here uh, we just need to write down the cycle how many cycle I want to check here so let's say I want to make a 10 leg cycle okay so this is my 10 leg cycle and uh, here in down option you have the four option first is a fully reversed option second is a zero base option so in a fully reverse option you can take a example of a spring compression spring if you applied load on spring spring will compress and if you remove the load spring will uh, expand so in this type of uh, object you can choose the uh, first one so this is a uh, zero base load the second one is a uh, only for uh, one type of loading so i am choosing right now this one because uh, right now i am considering only one type load on this face in uh, this one is a static one that is my study here okay so just click right in here you can get a material so if you right click and apply here fatigue data here uh, you just need to check uh, and uh, upload a file of uh, SNCO. If you have a 
Asian cow. These are the material. You can choose your material, and the fatigue study is mainly run on Asian cows only. So this is my Asian cow of this material. Now apply and close. Okay, so just simple, just run this study. Okay, now we have the result. First one is damage, second one is life. So first I am showing the life. Double click here. And uh, in floating and uh, you can see minimum and maximum so here you have the option minimum and maximum you have the value right now so this is the minimum value so what this value shows to me so it shows the minimum life of the product so how i can find the minimum life so i am taking an example this is my door handle so in a one day in a one day this uh, door will open up to 100 times so i just need to do this is my minimum value divided by 100 so after uh, calculating the i can find the minimum life of my product so this is the how company will give you guarantee and warranty this basis so this is the main base uh, of find uh, minimum life of your product so here you can see minimum life and double click on damage here you can also see your damage where uh, your part is damaging more if you edit here you can also see load factor in damage you can see here so this is my minimum and maximum damage damage in percentage okay so this is the how you can make a fatigue simulation on solidworks and uh, how you can find your uh, object life uh, by applying fatigue simulation so thank you for watching thank you all